Please put your hands together and welcome Pete Lau. On December 17, 2013, OnePlus was officially founded, which started our journey of never settle. Today will be a day to remember for OnePlus. So at OnePlus, we, we wanted to build the best smartphone. It was really exciting because I was only 24 years old. This is so weird. This, this doesn't so happen weird. for Apple even. In the smartphone industry, there's a huge change every two years. Anything can happen. $1,000 phones are just kind of decreasing in, in sales. I think consumers, they don't really know what's going on between the different uh, model iterations. Companies are just putting up new smartphones just for the sake of it. For a lot of people, they just want a phone that works. That works really well. So we opened a new Nord system. It's just to let more users use it. The market is really ready for a product like this. People love the OnePlus brand and people are lusting for a more accessibly priced OnePlus product. A few quick words. So, I've been really excited about this project. I haven't slept for four nights now. Um, and my verbal skills are not as good as usual due to lack of sleep. So, the goal of today is um, we don't have any time, but we still have to do stuff, and we have to do stuff quickly. The goal of today is to align on high-level things that will allow the team to start moving forward. I first started hearing about uh, OnePlus at the very beginning. Uh, I was the user number 1507 joining, so it was a small village. It, it's much more than, than just technology. Yeah, I've been a OnePlus user for, I don't know, since the beginning. And I can afford the older models, but I mean, the price point is something I think about. I'm a project manager of this project and I take care of everything. We are launching a phone with six months to do it. I think the most nervous thing for me is to get everyone aligned. Yeah, this is the most difficult thing. The Note product is 呃，第一款低于五百美金的这样一个产品，对我们整个一家来说，对整个团队来讲，也是一个非常大的一次挑战。So I think if we do the budget like that, then we are over budget. Launch event is two million dollars. Yeah, no, and they, no, 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 and they did a launch in this month. Max one million. Good, take it down. I think we are building something faster than anyone has ever built anything before, in, 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 at least in my career. It's 25 years now, so I've never seen this speed ever in my life. Let's now look at some of the selected uh, elements that um, steer us visually and also material-wise. Why is everybody playing with their computers? We're having a meeting. I'm making notes. Only me has to make notes. Good? Yeah, so let me then uh, topic two. Color wise, um, and also photography, we, we, we want to portray real people with real instincts and you know knowing their way. No phone call. 
typically when we would do this kind of, of creative process, I think we would have about two months to iterate a few times uh, to, to, to create the direction for this expression. And uh, now we've been doing that amount of work uh, that we would have been doing two, three months for I think um, we are spending uh, three, four weeks. It's, it's a fast paced uh, project. Herman, you, you are there, yes? Yes. First, 22 becomes too sophisticated. The, the, the visual identity is supposed to be inspired by the Scandinavian sort of design. Uh, we think of it as very clean and uh, calm and modern and minimalistic. If you ask me what I like, what are we? we we're just doing different because of different. <laughs> It's crazy. 20 minute meeting and decision taken, actions done, and new prototype ready in five days. I mean, it takes the responsibility to say if we're going to delay the launch because let's do things right. But uh, let's see. But I think like, that's the thing, the product team doesn't they see the sort of business opportunity and the whole kind of smartphone. And me and Jacob, we see a bit further. And that takes fucking balls. If you are trying to look out for those short-term highs, which don't tie in into the long-term goal, that's when sort of things can get nasty. Why would you say that my journey is a short-term high? It's my entire life. We've lost the end point. Me constantly, I want to be proving myself to you yeah. that I can fucking deliver the project, I can do this overnight, staying, don't fucking go to sleep, cancel my plane because I wanted to have a strategy this morning. I don't want to boss people. I don't like to be a dictator in a meeting, but it's so messy. But we need to make sure that everyone goes to the same direction. That's where the whole culture about do the right things, do things right. We gotta live by what we do. It needs to be, of course, built from some understanding of the market and understanding of our own ability. And we need to lock decisions on, on, on product that if we haven't decided on certain things, um, the train leaves the station. Yeah, it just feels like every day there's new information and things could change immediately. And you don't know what's actually going to happen. But it's exciting. It's exciting. And it's the opportunity to like really create something the way to that you kind of want to do it. So. It takes a bit more time to get everyone on the same page, but uh, hopefully once we find alignment with the structure, we can make this thing, the, the thing happen. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, I need sleep. Um, first, I just wanted to say that I know this project is very messy right now, and I'm the less, I'm the person who can accept messiness the least. But the reason why I'm okay with this is because this is just the start. There's so many things to get done. So, if you notice it's messy, yes, I also notice it's messy, but I'm accepting it in the short term, so we can move fast on a couple of things. Let's begin. So yeah, there has been a virus outbreak and um, it's actually spreading uh, quicker than, than uh, I think people would believe. Worrisome. It's a bit scary. <laughs>